stepped forth in the UFC. Now he's moving up the division to try and add another title to his resume. Stepping up on less than two weeks' notice to prove he is the new force of the 185-pound division. The greatest welterweight of all time. start you know somebody posts something and then everyone starts jumping on it and then all the doctors start jumping on it these are fine they will be put to use this saturday yesterday hamza said that he was the new version of you the iphone pro to your iphone 5. do you see some similarities in hamza to you yeah i mean he's tough he can wrestle he can grapple he can strike you know like i said yesterday whether it's a new iPhone or older iPhone, guess what? They both make calls. They both work. And uh, the new one might not fit in your pocket, so. Where do you think you find success against this guy, this hurricane that's going to come at you? Well, that's my will against his. When we get in there, it's, it's you know, unfortunately, like Sean Strickland says, uh, you know, we're going to do the man dance. And, uh, you know, with my will up against his, we'll see who starts to un unravel first. I'm not dancing in the cage, I'm not in the process. I can't smash your face, bro. Sorry. Hamza, you were meant to fight Paul and Costa, but do you believe Kamara is a harder fight than you? I don't care, man. Hard, easy, doesn't matter. Smash that guy, take my money if they have to do something else. Do you believe by being the Kamari proves that you're already one of the best in the world even though you're just starting your career in earnest? What? Do you believe by being the Kamari proves that you're as good as everyone's been saying? Do you guys just guys the deal of my yours to do just time to show Lucha is Jim Dillon? Immediately yesterday, Hamza said, you know, mountain wrestling is superior to U.S. wrestling. So I'm curious, what type of fight are you expecting from Hamza if it does come to the wrestling in the octagon? said, what? He said that mountain wrestling would be U.S. wrestling. So I'm curious, what do you expect from the other side? I mean, we're not wrestling, and we're, we're fighting. So, we're there, not wrestling, or, or you know, really wrestling, we're not going to step in there and we're going to uh, mix it up. So, I've already said it before, I might not be the best striker, I might not be the best grappler, but when it comes to mixing it up, I'm the best in the world. Yeah. 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 
That's why you lost twice or two third time. <laughs> so what? Why you if you the bench and why you lost? Last time fight you lost. Asking. Hey, shit happens. <laughs> this is life. But I guess uh, that's a lesson that you I can thought learn. me and you best. <laughs> You're losing the fight. You're right. You know, but uh, that's part of being human, and uh, that's a lesson I guess I have to teach you. Yeah, you're good, but not Don't think you can teach me anything. You can work for them, huh? Sure, you can think that. You coach in the gym, better for you. You can help you. I mean, it's not to be a coach, it's better to maybe build the head, help for you. One last one for you, Danny. Obviously, fans were expected for the rematch with Islam and Charles. They were excited for Hamza to fight Paolo. But given what we're seeing up on stage right now, are you sensing more excitement for this rematch against Alex and this fight against Kamaru and Hamza? Yeah, obviously. I mean, the buzz since we announced these fights is off the charts. Again, I was saying this to these guys that the two guys involved in the co-main, the two guys involved in the main is the reason that everybody in this building and everybody watching loves this sport. You know what I mean? These guys step up on short notice. Two, two of the biggest fights. Number one in the world, welterweight. Number four in the world, welterweight. The rematch everybody wanted is being taken on short notice. Being taken on short notice. What more could you ask? Who's got the next question? Fury fight. I would certainly hope so. I would certainly hope so. Yeah. I mean, yeah. listen, let, let's be honest, without smashing anybody here, these are the best fighters in the world in these weight class. That's what you want to see. I mean, you want to see the best fight the best. You know, these two right here, and these two right here are the best. I would say yes, sir. But, I, but I'm pretty biased. The question comes out of my mind. Хамзат, ты почти всю пресс-конференцию находишься в телефоне, есть ощущение, что тебе чуть-чуть скучно. А можешь рассказать, с кем ты переписываешься? Question from Hamzat Shemaev. Hamzat, pretty much the entire press conference, you're in your phone. It looks like you're texting somebody. You might be a bit bored. If it's not a secret, who are you texting? I'm with my brother, Adam, sit in front of me, send the picture, smile, like, how fun is, how fun is my brother? <laughs> I don't know what to do, man. This guy... Before I met them, there was why this guy making a lot of trash talk today, you know. So I just listen how fun, you know. So me and Usman have fun to watch these guys. You know? It's amazing. Sometimes you give the job to somebody else. You know? It's good. You, you know we've had the press conference for too long, and the question is, who are you texting on your phone? Anybody else have a question? I've got, got a question. Asbola, who are you back in this way game? Who are you back in this way game? All right, gentlemen, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. On the fence. I'm on the fence. We don't hit so far. We, 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 we went. Left hook from Yaounde came and landed on him, you know, so. <laughs>